Hey guys, Chris here. Right behind me we have the brand new 2019 Volvo V60. This is a T6 in inscription with all wheel drive and in today's video I'm going to show you guys the interior and the exterior of this car. Starting off with the exterior paint, this paint is called Denim Blue. It's a blue grayish metallic paint. Actually quite dark and it's more to the blue side than the gray side. I, I'm not a particular fan of this color. I think it, it's, it makes the V60 look too anonymous, too boring. But in this light, actually, you know, sunset here in Norway at 7.30 in the evening, the sun does hit the car at a really nice angle. And in this light, at least, it does look really nice. Up front, we have Volvo's design grill now, their concave grill. And here in inscription trim, it gets black slats with chrome slats inside. Here we have Volvo's new logo design, Volvo written there. And you actually have a camera that there down below the Volvo logo because this car does have the 360 camera over to the side of the grill we have the gorgeous Thorshammer LED lights and you know this is an evolution of the Thorshammer LED light design from the Volvo XC60 they're just a bit more squashed than they are in the XC60 and in the S90 V90 cars and you also have the Thor's hammer, the actual actual LED section of the light does extend, you know, further than the, the actual headlight design, making it look really cool and really sporty. I think it looks more elegant in the S90 V90 and in this application, it does look more sporty. But this is a more sporty car than the V90 S90. It competes, you know, with the 3 Series A4 and the Mercedes-Benz C-Class. So below here, below the headlights, we have this portion here with a fog light and then we have this black design portion here with some you know some cuts some 3d effects there and then you have this chrome like a boomerang design here which is actually it comes around here cuts up there and then outwards underneath tucking there really nicely i really do like the way that looks below the main grill we have a small grill here hiding the radiator and just with a small lip here and this is really cool, this section of the bumper here, that this L shape here, it just comes down a little more aggressive than something on an inscription S90 V90. And it actually makes the inscription trim in the V60 look a bit sporty. You can see more of that lip there. Over to the side, this car is equipped with 19 inch wheels, these five double spoke 19 inch wheels, which have, you know, a brushed, glossy painted finish on them with black glossy paint in between the spokes. Uh, these are really cool, wrapped in 235 40 19 Nokia on Hacka Black 2 tires. Over to the side, the side is quite clean and from here it does look a bit like an S90 V90 but where it differentiates is in this shoulder line behind here which is a bit of a throwback to, you know, the old P1800. This is actually really cool. And in the S60 version, we've seen pictures of and videos of this car, I think works a bit better here. Here you almost have to know about it to, to see it, but it's a really nice design feature. And when looking out through the side view mirror, you can really see this prominently. Over to the side here, we have body painted mirrors on top and then they're black painted on the bottom with a tinted glass here hiding the indicators. You have this chrome detail around the windows extending all the way back to the D pillar. This has blacked out windows from the B pillar and back. Here we have the door handle designs, which are Volvo's new door handle designs. You get it on this car and also on the Volvo XC40. and Unlike the S90 V90, they don't have any chrome bits around, though this being an inscription trim. Over to the rear of the car. And yeah, this is typical Volvo. They, this is what the rear looks like almost in the XC60 and in the V90. You have the signature waterfall, you know, tail lights, which move over, over the shoulder line like that cutting into the boot lid into the number plate area there in the middle it has just become a signature Volvo feature and I think it looks really nice and really good 
and what this car has that they done right compared to the V90 is that the 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 back window doesn't rake as much as it does in the V90 making this trunk almost as spacious as the one you have in the V90. You also have a small deck lid spoiler here and also you have these roof rails which are satin chrome finishing the same satin chrome finish you have here around the windows and then you can see the rear window is blacked out Volvo lettering spaced apart typical Volvo you know that's how they do it v60 badging there on the left this is a t6 all-wheel drive inscription the does the badging there and the rear of this car is probably the section where this car looks the most anonymous you have you know the typical inscription tailpipes there one on each side with a real tailpipe in the middle and topping off you know the design features this section here of the bumper is matte plastic with just a chrome detail you know moving from each tailpipe to each tailpipe so before i show you guys the interior just want to show you guys volvo's latest key design this is what it looks like if you haven't seen it before and the inscription trim is actually covered in beautiful napa leather in the same color as the interior it's really nice feels really solid and really luxurious you have these chrome pushers here on the side here you have the hazards you have the lock you have the unlock and then you have the trunk release here hold that to open the trunk and do the same to close the trunk that's what that looks like but this car does have keyless go keyless entry so put the key back in the pocket and you can see the car is unlocked because the mirrors are unfolded put your finger or thumb here to un to lock the car and the mirrors do fold you can actually do these uh, this on every outer door so it's really practical usually when i get out of the car i you know go out here and then i walk backwards and i just hit here lock the car walking away i really like that feature so to open the car to unlock the car just put your hand behind the door handle and the door opens the door the car unlocks and the mirrors do unfold so let's start off with the front door design and this car has a black interior so it might not look as nice as something with a lighter interior but still is a really high quality interior that looks really nice starting off with the top of the door this is a soft touch plastic it actually feels really nice it has a really nice matte finishing you have the same soft touch plastics below there in a different section of plastic all the way to the inside and all the way down below down to you know the 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 door pocket and also on the inside on the inside you also have carpeting below there but this section here is hard touch plastics also here and you actually don't have any rubber mats on the bottom here so if you leave things down here it will rattle when moving about here on this section you actually have a smooth to the touch almost a rubberized finishing plastic feels really nice to the touch and you also have a really solid chrome grab handle here here you have the memory settings for the seat because this car does have the power electrical comfort seats this car is also equipped with the Bar barrison wilkins premium audit system giving it this really spectacular and really beautiful speaker grill and just from an interior perspective perspective this just you know elevates the interior quality that much inside there you have the Barrison Wilkins you know patented yellow Kevlar speaker grill or speaker you can see that through the speaker grill in here you have a faux leather door insert though really high in quality you have faux leather here on the armrest though really nice and really soft to the touch feels much nicer and better than the faux leather I've, I've you know seen in earlier Volvos and in other models you have also contrast stitching there here you have the window controls which are automatic up and down for all four windows and you also have the power windows power mirror switches here and if you press left and right simultaneously the doors or the mirrors will fold and unfold but not now because the car is not started and unlocked here you have a welcoming plate from Volvo on the door sill and as I said this car has the comfort seats which are electrically adjustable this car also has uh, a, a thigh support here which is actually it's not manually operated like in 
the XC60 is actually power operated. So that's really nice. It also has ventilated seats. They are cooled, heated, and you can also move the side bolsters in and out depending on your body size. And this seat also has a massaging function and really soft and smooth Napa leather. And on the headrest, you have embossed inscription. So let's take a step inside. We're gonna keep the door open because it is, it is rather hot outside after that one day of a little colder weather summer is finally back so it's almost 30 degrees outside and here in the boiling sun it does get really hot so i might be i might have to start the car up Presley is going to put on the ignition so i can show you guys the 12 inch digital gauge cluster that's what that looks like really beautiful here and the the sport theme with it gives it red red gauges and also in the center here you have the 9.3 inch census infotainment system i have a whole video out on the tech of these two screens check up the link there in the right corner so here we have volvo's sport steering wheel the same steering wheel i have in my xc90 you have perforated leather on the side you have smooth leather on the top and on the bottom here you have buttons for the cruise control the adaptive cruise control and pilot assist to increase decrease speed here you can toggle between the different cruise control settings you activate it here and here you adjust the distance on the right side you have volume controls up and down and you can also skip forward track skip forward radio here you have a button to control the board computer settings that pops up down there in the right corner but the car isn't started so nothing happens and you also have voice command there I'm just going to start up the car because I'm going to close the door because do we have noise from the road by cars passing here. I'm just going to cool down. It's actually only 26 degrees, but that is still hot enough to film YouTube video. So up top of the dashboard, this car has the leatherette dashboard, which really is really nice it looks really nice it's really nice to the touch contrast stitching here on the edge and contrast stitching here and what this car has which is different from the xc60 where the dashboard basically is lifted out of I, I don't know if it's actually the same part it looks very similar but there are a few key differences there amongst this section here on the xc60 you would have a speaker here so you actually would have a plastic speaker cover and then here you have a different speaker top. This is the same as you have in the V90, S90 and in the XC90. And I think this way of designing it, this look works much better than it does in the XC60. I'm not a particular fan of how they did it in the XC60. So I'm really happy to see that the execution is much nicer here. This top dashboard just looks much nicer. So you have these side vents or these center vents here, which are flanking the screen looks basically the same as it does in the xc60 so as the the vent you have out here on each each outboard side of the cabin one here on the left and then one there on the right so all this looks you know the same as in the xc60 the center console looks the same but this trim here i think looks different i think this wraps more broader and is thicker in the xc60 so just a different look a different detail here i'm glad to see that it just didn't lift out the 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 interior of the xc60 and put it here they have done things to differentiate it and i think actually the armrest here is actually a bit different and it's really softly padded i really do like the the door armrest here over to you know the center console if you've seen any of my volvo videos before you've seen this a million times before but for you people who haven't seen it you have a large volume knob here which is diamond cut and metal is really nice to the touch feels really solid flanked by the hazard buttons the rear defroster the front defroster skip forwards and backwards for track here you have a sim sim card tray and this is just a blank button because this section here this portion button a stack here is lifted out from the s90 which gives you the the glove compartment electronic switch here but this has a manual glove compartment which is actually quite big quite large it's actually bigger than what i have on my xc90 so that is impressive so here i said you have more of that you know that faux leather it looks really nice with contrast stitching this trim here is real 
real metal with this knurled finishing here. Looks really gorgeous in the way it just wraps around there. This really nice true 3D design effect and it's actually split up here. It's a really, really high quality and nice interior. The only section of the interior I really don't like is this, this section here. The material is, is nice. It's the same smooth plastics you have here with a rubberized finishing. But down here, you have a sharp edge and I really don't like it. And on the other side here is even sharper. It just feels a bit cheaper than the rest of the interior. I wish they would have, you know, I don't know, wrapped this in leather, something as an option, but it, it does feel really solid. But compared to the rest interior, I just think it's a bit out of place. But I, what I really do like is the mechanical shifter in this car. This is the best feeling, the most solid feeling shifter I've felt in any car in a long time. I really do like this and wrapped in leather and in metal. It's just really solid and really nice. So it's a contrast from this high quality piece of kit here and this that feels just a bit more low rent. And also here you have, you know, a small cubby here. Everything just feels so solid. This is metal. This feels really solid. This is metal revealing, you know, two large cup holders and some storage bin, bins here. This just, everything here just feels really high quality. You have the ignition switch here, which is a rocker switch. Turn right to stop, turn right to start the engine. And also you have the drive mode select buttons here, which is er, the scroll wheel, which lets you, you know, scroll between the different modes. Here you have eco, comfort, individual, and dynamic. Put that in individual. And it's just really nice diamond cut metal finishing. Everything just feels really solid. This switch gear, you have the electronic parking brake here. And then you also have auto hill hold and auto brake hold actually. It also works when it's flat. And then you have this really nice armrest here, which is in Napa leather. This leather is so soft with more contrasting stitching, revealing a really rather large storage compartment underneath there. So just gonna show you guys the back seat really quickly. Starting off with the door, you have the same high quality material, soft touch up top, soft touch on the side, soft touch all the way down here and actually carpeted on the inside. You have the base speaker here as you did have in the front door and you also have a rather cute smaller version of the Barrison Wilkins speaker grill from the front door but it's really high quality, really nice. That grab handle here is also really high quality and also more of that you know smooth plastics here faux leather door inserts and faux leather under armrest and the rear seat of this car I actually haven't tested the rear seat but this seat is sat all the way back almost and let's see if I fit and yeah I actually have some knee room though I'm not the tallest person at about five foot seven I would have no problem sitting here a six footer would have no problem sitting behind himself because this seat is just sat way back so the seat back just feels really nice, soft touch plastics, really nice map pocket. You have the nappa leather on top of the shoulders of the seat. The only section where you have that full leather on the seat is on the, the, the back of the headrest, but everything just feels really nice and really high quality. And this, the cushion is, is actually really nice, though a bit short, so taller people might find it a bit unsupportive uh, for longer trips but it's just really nice this beautiful soft leather uh, you have also perforated leather here in the rear but you don't have cool seats but you do have heat heated seats because this has the rear seat climate package which gives you uh, temperature control here let's see and then you turn off the screen there so you can adjust the temperature and you can adjust the fan speed and you have two vents here and then you also have in typical Volvo fashion you have a vent here and a vent there on the B pillar so the last thing I'm going to show you guys from the back seat is this huge panoramic sunroof this is a must get option if you're getting a car like this oh one more last thing the center armrest which uh, actually has cup holders there a nice storage compartment here just in you no know, way a storage bin with beautiful uh, rubberized finishing. And then you also have a center uh, storage compartment here. 
and this is actually a much nicer center rear armrest than what I have on my XC90. So lastly guys, gonna show you guys the trunk. I do have it filled up with work stuff, but let's see what it looks like. It's a rather large size. Uh, the actual size in liters is up there on the screen. Now you have this partial shelf here or this trunk cover, which you know, disappointingly enough, doesn't move when you uh, when you open the trunk. I think it does that in the XC60, and it most definitely does that in our Audi A4. So you have to pull this manually down. But here you have, you know, a lot of room. You have two suitcases there. You have a few boxes, and still a lot of room to spare. But it is a bit annoying. You have to pull this down manually. And here you can also lock the car from here because this car is clearly go keyless entry and of course an electric tailgate as I mentioned in the beginning of the video. So there you go guys, that was an extensive tour of the interior and the exterior of this, the brand new 2019 Volvo V60 T6 all-wheel drive inscription. If you like this video, please drop me a thumbs up down below and for more car content, as always guys, please subscribe. See you guys later and goodbye.